Hey everyone, last week Varsha and I went to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. And while we were there, I finally got some new shots to see how close Super Nintendo World is coming to opening up here in California. Check it out. The sign is finally up for Super Nintendo World. We are so close now. So I can see here, and they painted the sky and all this. I should be excited for 2023. I haven't been able to see any of this Nintendo stuff before. So I'm finally back again in order to see this. I love seeing this because it's a sign that you know Super Nintendo World is coming close. The Luigi plush, the Mario Peach. The stuff they have on display just to show all their merchandise. Because I've got a big red corner over here with Bowser. And then Mario. Okay, they've got some Yoshi and Peach too. So I got the they've got them organized by characters. With all the Yoshi stuff. And there's Peach. I mainly just see stuff for Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, and Bowser. I know there's something for Toad, I just have to find it. I might have to buy one of these. Certainly for my boy Luigi. Oh hey, here we go. Since I'm here during Horror Nights, I've got Super Nintendo World versus all the booze on a shirt. It's like I said, when Nintendo World opens, they need to have some kind of maze or some kind of like Halloween horror themed attraction in Nintendo World. There's a bunch of horror games that they can draw from. They've done Resident Evil before. There's just a ton of plushies here. This is like heaven for a Nintendo fan. All these Nintendo plushies. So these aren't quite Lego sets, but they're little play sets on the Bowser's Castle. I wonder if these cost as much as a Lego play set. So this is $37 something of this size it seems about the same as what a lego set would go for now look see so the bowser's castle you can fit all the figures in here i guess there's little traps for the lava world in the basement how much is it okay there it is 75 dollars over something of this size sold by lego this is actually cheaper than what Lego would sell stuff for. Because something this size is a Lego set, I guess because of all the pieces it requires, that would cost $100. So this is actually a bit more reasonable than some Lego sets. And just a wall full of Goomba hats. I saw somebody with a toad hat, but I know they sell those. If it's not in here, it might be at the one closer to the entrance. And in this corner, it's all Mario Kart stuff. Because it sounds like we're only getting one ride, unfortunately, here in Hollywood. But it is a Mario Kart ride, which does look really good. So I'm still excited about that. I guess I'll have to go to Florida to get on the Yoshi ride and Donkey Kong ride. But I am excited for Mario Kart, and hopefully they have more of their like walkthrough type attractions to make up for having only one ride instead of you know, two like rumors are indicating. Marsha found a friend. <laughs> Hi Toad. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi good Toad, I'm looking forward to Super Nintendo World. Me too! I'm gonna be having a blast! I'm gonna have a whole concert here! <laughs> Toad's gonna have a concert? <laughs> yes! I'll be singing Whitney Houston! Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you all for watching this short video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here for more Super Nintendo World updates and other Nintendo related content too. Thank you!